Yeah, no, you don't. You don't get to. We're have... gonna make that Heimdall solo movie work. We, God damn it! We know you got a Super Guardians of the Galaxy slash Star Wars property on your hands. So, and one of the main characters is integral, and it's, he also is African American. So we're just gonna sign all of the black African American actors. Yeah, no, so they pretty much they pretty much trapped like they they grabbed everybody for Black Panther. They yeah. did. They like, they one hundred percent like every single Lupita remotely Fiongo. like. Like African actor, anyone remotely dark skinned. But why? Why would you kill F. Michael B. Jordan's kid? Why kill Killmonger? Just keep him. I mean, I know. I, I honestly, I fully believe that Infinity War He's shit. Die. No, he doesn't have to die in that movie. However, I think he does. However, I'm still convinced Infinity War stuff, Infinity War time and space bullshit. I think Red Skull is going to come back at least for a cameo in that movie. He's yeah, never I, I coming and I think back. Killmonger's I want coming him back. I love but Red Skull. But I, I could see him being a thing though. Like, yeah, it's hard to, it's, it feels weird back. saying that I love Red Skull because he's a fucking he's goddamn he's a goddamn Nazi. Well, well, you know, no, he's a, the, he's, he's, fucking, he's a villain. <laughs> he's fucking cool. He's a bad guy. Yeah, I mean, he's a great he's a great villain though. Like you know, like you said, and I. And what's his know. name's a great actor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who played Agent Smith? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. You that guy. Weaving? Hugo Weaving, yeah. Hugo, was it Hugo Lord Weaving? Lord Elrond, yeah. Well, yeah, the, okay, the whole wow. reason he didn't his come back. His name is Agent Smith. Yeah. Agent, yeah, Agent the Smith. The whole reason he didn't why come back Agent is because he hated the makeup. He why hated is Agent Smith being process. the, uh, yeah, why, why is he leading the elves? What's going on here? And because <laughs> Agent Smith can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's Damn Agent right. Smith. He's a, yeah, he doesn't. He's, he, he, has, he hacked the Matrix. He's he has no fucks to give, like, at all. <laughs> just, just whatever, man. <laughs> Mr. Frodo. <laughs> I, I hope that the, the camcorder is recording. Oh, that would be funny. It's just got Ron's arm. <laughs> what a fag. <laughs> but we are recording with the podcast, Please by the way. No. So hello, everyone. What is that one? Tom Cruise. Is... Tom Cruise photoshopped his Hal. He's not Hal. He's, he's, he's not... too short. I'm going to be – like, I and love it, Tom Cruise. And the, I just, too I'm, short. I hope they really try to sell him as, like – a. Older than middle aged, yeah. not like in the Mummy where they call yeah. him a young man. This dude's sixty years old. <laughs> You're a younger man. He's two years younger than you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he's, he's Technically, really, he is he's, younger. Yeah, he's not, he's really not that much younger though. <laughs> you know, like it, it, it's like ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's like comparing an orange to a tangerine. There's not there's not di- much difference there. Even the flavor is pretty close. So I don't. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Hey, it's the Ungodly Geeks Podcast. Yeah, we're we're doing a thing again. Another week down. Here yeah. we are again, back in the studio. You Ron's know. back with us. Hello, Ron. <laughs> At the moment. Yeah, life isn't fucking him currently. I mean, it is. It's just fucking him gently. <laughs> hey, man. I'm like, uh, I'm like, you know, the roadrunner right now. I just sorted all my shit out, all my stuff out in my life, and my, my legs are spinning. Are spinning. I just haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> just don't turn it into the coyote again. It's a process. Oh yeah. Don't turn it into Wiley and smash into like a wall that you thought was a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The well, amount of times that he fell for that was entirely too much. And I realized it was just for comedic effect, but holy fuck. Man. I always felt I'm I was the kid who felt bad for the coyote, for Tom. For like all those characters. Yeah, Jerry fucked Tom over. Jerry a was a little times, fucking man. punk. I like look yeah. at like a few years ago I was laughing at those cartoons. I, Looking back now, I was like, I, I am Yeah, Tom. like yeah. <laughs> like Jerry's just an arrogant little cock. Yeah. <laughs> like he deserves it. He totally does. Like Tom's like, just minding his own damn business most like, of the time. Yeah. Tom's doing his job as a mouser cat getting rid of a pest, right? Yeah. And then Jerry's just being a little shit that he is getting getting Tom fucked up. Like all the, like, dude, come on. Half the time there were episodes where Tom was just chilling with Jerry and then at some point Jerry does some like, turns heel on him. Yeah, yeah just fucks him <laughs> over, throws a pie in his face or sets his tail on fire. Yeah. Or, Firecrackers and shit. Yeah, it sh- shoves a firecracker up his ass. Like, come on, man. Do you guys remember they made uh, an animated Tom and Jerry movie? And it wasn't, I think it was like late 2000s. Maybe. Uh, no, like I haven't 2010s. watched the Tom and Jerry thing since they, like they early talked 90s in it, and VHS. it was so awful. No, no. I, that does sound bad. Like, it was so bad. Don't, the only time talk. that they were ever al- allowed to talk was, you know, that one episode where Tom was a cowboy. That was fine. I love that where he walks up and lights that cigarette yeah. in front of the female cat. Ah, that scene is so badass. And then the other one where he he cuts the uh, uh, the uh, what, what what was that the hammock into a suit. 
You guys see, you don't remember that episode? He cuts yeah. it into like one of the big jazz suits where oh, it's oversized. I do remember that. Yeah, it's like, that was. Zoot suit. Yeah, the zoot I suit. I was young. I didn't, I mean, my mom, when I was with my mom, she'd just throw Tom and Jerry VHSs at me, so it's just all random. Yeah. Like, I, no, she I literally threw them at him, like, yeah. right, right in the face. Like, <laughs> fucking watch this. Shut up. Watch Tom and Jerry. God no, damn it. Mom, why? Tom and Jerry is. <laughs> no, uh, mommy, no. <laughs> that's Ron Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he learned everything. Yeah. See, I didn't even have. I couldn't watch. I Sesame am the cable guy. As a kid. I learned everything I know from, I, uh, from, I, I watching had, TV, uh, yeah. watching TV and movies. Like Jackie Chan learned English from watching American TV. So yeah. I mean, yeah, why sounds, not? Sounds I mean, the Transformers right. learned English from the internet. eBay. Oh God. <laughs> Hey, the Terrible. first one wasn't that bad. The first one, yeah, was, we no, had no idea what was coming. Though the, the first one, one had, first one was acceptable. Second one was better than it had any business being, thanks to like the because of the strike that was going on at the time. Right, and then but, uh, it, it's just downhill from there, man. I think they realized with the second one, we don't need to pay like decent writers. No, we no. can make this shit ourselves. We just, did. we just need explosions. Excellent. That's it. That's all we need is explosions. We need explosions and a Chinese release. What is what? What came? What news came out a few days ago? Where like uh, uh, Michael Bay is is going to be taking over what property? Uh, oh, I oh, know what geez. you're talking. He's um, doing fuck. a. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, uh, Duke yeah. Nukem. Duke Nukem. Yeah. yeah, we talked about that uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago. But the question I, is, say what you want about him. That man can make a fucking else. movie, and it looks great. <laughs> like, like Duke it, Nukem. Anything you don't, else? I you don't, don't really need them. substance. You need one-liners and a likable character, and you need. You don't even have to be okay. likable. But there's the problem. Can he get, create a right, likable character? I mean, if John Cena plays him, I don't. I'm, I don't like John. See, Cena, I don't think John wrestler, Cena. Okay, listen. He's, got, he's a charismatic guy. John Cena has like he has range. I don't believe he could pull off a Duke Nukem. I because be Duke Nukem, to... Duke Nukem is a one-dimensional, fucking like misogynistic as hell guy. Yeah, yeah. because you can't really do it. No, I, I, I don't see how I don't you make th- that movie nowadays. I mean, exactly. And also, you, I sit down to watch a Duke Nukem movie, and the moment I see an actor and I hear his voice come out of his mouth, and it's not. The Duke. Yeah. yeah if it's this not, not uh, going to be what, the John same. St. John. If it's not John St. John, I think it's yeah. the it's like, What a it's name, just, too. Man. Yeah, right? John like, St. John. dude, he's a. That, that is a decidedly porn starry name. Yeah. Like, yes. like, seriously, John St. John, I think of, of just some buff dude with blonde hair and a big. Just a big dick. Just, he's obviously the guy who plays Duke Nukem. Right. Like, that. with that name, that's all you can. That, that's what you're going to grow up to be. So it's like, what else? What else can you be at that point? But anyway, we do have some actual, uh, actual things to discuss. So uh, we're going to go a little bit of news and things that have happened over the last this week. Oculus Rift users found themselves unable to use their rifts. Yeah, for twenty hours. For, yeah, it was around eighteen to twenty hours. Apparently, what had happened was the Oculus, the company, let a security certificate expire. Because some of the software that they use for the Oculus Rift is web based, and so there was a security certificate. Get your that, shit together. Yeah, where you like you access this site securely to access some of some of the things you do, and yeah, they. <laughs> it's like, how, how does you, that happen? Yeah, you you get you get notifications that this shit's about to expire. Somebody somebody's fired. A bunch of people are fired. Yeah, because they gave now they they do have it resolved. Took them around eighteen to twenty hours. But for 18 to 20 hours, you, people who the, – like the five people who have <laughs> Oculus Rift couldn't sit there yeah. and, and they couldn't Couldn't access it. their VR porn. It's like, what the fuck, Those man? Poor sons of bitches. I man, wanna, I'm not going to lie. I tried VR porn once, and it was just too <laughs> weird for it words. Is, it's so strange. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I don't need to turn and look around the room. Yeah, I don't I mean, care. I just – I mean, it, it, I'm at a, the point in my life where – I don't really do that, but when I do, it's just get the shit over with. <laughs> it's find a video and go. Yeah, you know, but can it was we, can it was we wrap a, this up. It was it was <laughs> the, I I uh, I did it on you know, the phone here, the Google Cardboard thing that they got, and it was like I don't need to do that again. Mm. No, <laughs> like I'm I'm good. I also I, felt I like such a goddamn loser, <laughs> <laughs> right? I have like, this big giant box on my fucking head looking at fucking. Oh man! It, 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 
I don't need that oh, level of immersion I with my porn. Anyway. See, I, I, wanna, I don't. I don't. If you do that, I want to be able to look over and see like the director, like <laughs> see him giving directions and the sound guy. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. If you're gonna do that, fine. Make it funny. Do something like that, dude. That would be amazing. Like <laughs> now, that I would 100 percent watch the whole time because <laughs> you just stare at that guy like. Eh? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that means. Are we playing baseball? Am I your first baseman and you're telling me to steal? I don't. I, I don't get to it. Steal third base. <laughs> Is third base her asshole? I I don't understand. <laughs> I but but yeah, the, I find that amusing to me because that, that's just like that's that's great. I just think it's sad. I like for me, you know, I maintain our websites and I renew the certificate like the day I get the email saying, "Hey, your certificates are about to expire." Like that day, and they send me like a week, week, week and a half in advance, something like that. I'm like, oh well, better do that real quick while I'm while I'm not doing anything else and. I kind of want to keep that going so our shit stays secure, you know. And I just I don't get how you can how you can let that, especially a big company like Facebook and Oculus. Like, how do you fuck that up? Like, imagine if the the imagine if like you go to fire up your web browser, Chrome, Firefox, whatever. You go to access Facebook and it says, oh, by the way, you can't access Facebook because there's security. Their security certificate expires and none of it's valid anymore. So we're not going to send you there because it's spoopy. Like. Uh, how? That'd be so funny. Would... Oh, speaking of which, um, reports have come, have come in that Comcast has been uh, accidentally flagging yeah. uh, different sites as um, uh, hazardous websites. Yeah, like, I heard uh, that, yeah. Fucking, what was it? It was like Netflix. It was it was Netflix. Uh, YouTube was one of them. Uh, yeah. Amazon was another one. These, you know, websites Google, that aren't like, wanting to play with. Like uh, the, the base Google.com. Yeah. 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 Convenient is the exact yeah. fucking word. Right. It's Those streaming sites. Suspicious as fuck. You know, <laughs> the sites that are forcing them to uh, actually compete on cable packages and shit. Yeah. Because... There's plausible believability right there that they are up to some shady shit. Oh, it's, yeah. it's I mean, the it's beginning Comcast. of their, they are, uh, they are their America's, lack of neutrality, too. They are America's Com- worst to voted company, yeah. customer service-wise. What, and like of course, 10 years in a row? <laughs> oh, my God. They're like, they're like, the, they're like the Osama bin EA. Laden of bad... Yeah, if it's not EA, it's Comcast. Yeah, like... It, they, they they fight. It's like they fight it out sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's been Comcast for a good portion. It's going to be the best at something. Yeah, be the be best, best at being, being the worst. The worst. Yeah, uh, I, I, it reminds me of the 4chan joke that I saw. It's like, why is EA the worst company in America? And it's like because Ubisoft is in France. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, oh, shots fired, shots fired. Um, that's a, that's good. But, but yeah, it's just like, like, how do you, how do you fuck you that up? Liquid is soft. Um, shit, I can't remember now. There was something that you had said that reminded me of another story, uh, and now I can't remember what it is. Let's just move on. Yeah. So, what's next on our agenda here on our topic list? Uh, something like that is on the good side of the news. Mark Hamill finally getting his star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. Oh, Fuckers I, for taking this long. I couldn't I had believe no idea. that. Apparently, you need to raise like ten thousand dollars in charity to a charity or something. Like you can't. Like the, the, and there's in, rules in order for to, it. Yeah, yeah you got to get selected. There's a but process. it's Mark Hamill. He's I'm fucking sure he's Luke done Skywalker, right? Like he's one of the most he's iconic a, sci-fi. He's the Jedi ever. Master. Son. I think it's because he didn't do so many <laughs> films. He only did the, he did three films, and then you know a few side, smaller budget movies, and yeah, then, just a few shit. But he's been gigs. the Joker in voice acting for fucking ever. Yeah, if you got to put Apparently, that out, just put it no, out. I know, just it. it, it it was coming right at me. <laughs> it was coming right at me, man. <laughs> it's coming right for us. There's incense burning, and the smoke was just like it, it had like <laughs> sentient ability. It was it was, yeah, it was, it was happened for, happening to Luke a couple of weeks ago. He he actually sat there and almost uh, set the felt on fire because <laughs> uh, he was fucking with it. it well, yeah. <laughs> it's like fire. no, yeah, fire. Fire. no fire. Luke, yeah. I don't. I don't fire. I've set the smoke alarm fire. off. It's annoying. It's just, it's just this buzz. <laughs> no, it's it's not even a normal. It's a buzz, and uh, I I set a pan on my stove and I forgot about it. <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm here. Like, I'm in my room. I got my headphones <laughs> on. I'm playing a game. Or I don't even remember what the fuck I was on. I just hear, I just hear eh, what the fuck is that? And I thought it was like a construction site because we have a construction site next door. And I'm like, eh, eh, what the fuck, go out. My my front room is just filled with smoke. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because, <laughs> you know, that's just the kind of, of idiot that, that I am sometimes. I found out uh, last two nights that cast iron, if you heat it up and then turn it down, but you still leave it on the heat, cast iron does not work like a normal pan where those no. pans will cool off no. no no cast iron just keeps getting hotter yeah so if you then put anything on it it immediately turns to smoke it yeah <laughs> yeah no like a little bit of butter on it just fucking just burned immediately well yeah luke it's actually ad- heat retention is one of the things that are advertised about it yeah so, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't realize if i turn the uh, turn the stove way down that it would still stay at fuck you degrees yeah no it it, it basically said oh it's like, by the way, anything you put on here, I'm just going to set on oh, fire yeah, yeah. immediately. Like I've, I, in the process of trying to cook hamburgers, I must have taken the thing off the stove and had to scrape it and soak it in water three or four times and then put it back on. Remind me to never lend Luke any of my cooking stuff. Hey, you guys, iron's fine. It's not going to get hurt. Mark Hamill's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad he finally got that. I, I, I want to watch the speech because apparently um, – uh, Fucking non solo. <laughs> You're talking about Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford was there that and one, gave the that, speech. That, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Indiana guy Jones. that uh, shot first. Yes. I just want to see that speech and see if it's anything close to uh, just. I, I just want to see that because Harrison Ford's a fucking cool guy. Yeah. Harrison and Ford's I know he, a fucking cool I just want him to open his mouth and say, Luke Skywalker will return in episode. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's fucking dead. It's, it's like. I still oh, g- <sighs> that too. It's not a good movie. No, I Mark don't want to talk about it. Have you heard Mark Hamill's theories now? No. Once again, once Ask again, JJ is the only thing I've seen. They've uh, so we Mark Hamill before the movie even came out, it was reported how he talked about he didn't agree with the director and he hated the script. And, but he was gonna, you know, doing the movie, Ooh, right, and yeah, then it came out it. where he was talking about, you know, this isn't gonna be what you want it to be. He didn't really like the way it went, blah blah blah. And then the movie came out, and all this negative stuff with only the misogynist people apparently didn't like the movie. Go fuck yourself. I didn't like also, it because Skywalker's dead. Do you yeah, remember no, how I, uh, Ryan Johnson was saying? Oh, like th- there, there was apparently no script. Oh in no, place there was or a whatever. script. He scrapped. There JJ's fucking script. was. Yeah, he's like. Garbage can, your yeah, fucking notes. This is what I'm thing. doing. Even though JJ had a fucking arc right, planned right. out, a vague had, arc, an idea. where he this is going to end up. Yeah. He's like, this is where I think it's going to end it's up. Why they Brian just Johnson is like, from the beginning. what you were going to do, it's opposite day. <laughs> so on that same level, the dude who was supposed to do nine, the one they shit canned, he got shit canned in part because Gareth he talked Edward, shit. Yeah, I think it was Gareth. No, Edwards. he's the guy who did Jurassic World. It was it was Gareth good. Edwards was the guy oh. who did um, Rogue One. No, no, the, fucking, you, I don't you know. Got me there. Whichever, right. whoever the Jurassic World guy, he got shit canned because he didn't like the script for eight and didn't want to play with it. Didn't want to play nice. I mean, with can that you script. fucking blame him? No, because it was a garbage. I'm, script. That was it terrible was movie. I'm sorry, I but don't want to see his movies. Now Mark Hamill is out talking about his head cannon is that Luke Skywalker only teleported somewhere, like like all this, and I'm just like, yes, and you cannot. Oh blame my us for fucking hating god, that, fucking that movie. actually is what it like. It, that's okay. You that's what probably it be. blow that out before the fucking glass explodes. There you go. Oh, the glass is. <laughs> he does. He that. just kind of. I mean, it is. It. I'm it, sure it's that's just not so what happened. He's unfortunate. Dead, but since this is Star Wars talk now, it's yeah. so unfortunate. That that scene with him looking at the horizon and fading away was not earned the way it needed to be because no. this the, it it was it's fitting. He acted that's like a beautiful a way for asshole. Luke to fade away. He just fades away, but not like not, not after, after that. sitting on a fucking rock. That's all he did. He just sat on a rock and and sort of projected himself across the universe. Which okay, that takes a lot of power. Sure, I love but come the, on. I love that in in a sense, but yeah, no, just. Mm. Fuck okay, let's let's, let's get let's I get off this. Hate let's get off. Because, no, yeah, I just thought sad. I just thought it was so funny that Mark Fuck Hamill's that talking about that now. Yeah, and I guess like even uh, there's a, other, a lot of other people that in the industry around that movie that are at the same level of this is bullshit. Uh, and now Disney is looking at Kathleen Kennedy like. You know, I don't even blame him. Maybe. You know what? I blame her. I was thinking about oh, it's that. Not, it's, it's not her Mark fucking Hamill. job. It's, it's, it's her fucking job and the fucking story team mm-hmm. that they have on hand to fucking look at this guy and be like, that's a great idea. 
we're actually going to go in this direction because this is Star Wars. Yep. You don't you don't treat this character that way. This is the hand that you were dealt with Carrie Fisher's death. Instead, we're not went, doing oh, that We're going to make an amazing. We're going to make a movie. And you don't live up to all these. No, fucking make a idiocy. Star Wars movie. Idiocy. I, I, I don't want. And I hear people defend that movie art. and say, "Well, it's well made." I don't even feel it is that well made. I, don't I think feel it's like very interesting. I mean, the it, cinematography is half baked at best. It's, it's decent. I feel like that's, Some of it's that's great. definitely the best aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. it looks like great. It looks great. It looks. It looks it's, fine. It's shot well, it, but, but it's in like, terms of like writing. And terrible editing, writing, terrible and the action. fucking the sequence with Finn and Rose. That was dropped. That, that was whole so fucking stupid. sequence. That was so you stupid. You have Rose. You have Benicio del Toro, one of the best actors of our generation. <laughs> he That's does what nothing. you give him. He does nothing. Do something with him and keep him around. He's, Seriously, he's kept like, around. do something more important with him. Yeah. I, oh, I, what are you doing? Did you see the Schmodown, the inner geekdom, where that was a question of what was that character's name and somebody <laughs> went wasted potential? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yes. Because that is 100% I fucking percent accurate. I mean, yes. you can't blame anybody but Benicio Del Toro for that stutter. Like, I 100% guarantee. He seems like the kind of guy who's like, actually, I kind of want to do a stutter. I've got an idea for my character. <laughs> Are you, are you sure, Benicio? Yeah, I'm gonna. Go I've this never way. done this fucked up stutter before. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this thing. It's, like, it's gonna right, be you fun. Know it's gonna be but good. I could see them going. You know what? This is Star Wars. We can do some different stuff. We can blah blah. blah. No, no. Nah. I have nah, no up. respect for nope. that movie. I got no enjoyment out of that movie. I, I the only bit of enjoyment I got out of that movie <laughs> was when that brief moment. When Finn, or when fucking Kylo and Rey team up to take down the fucking uh, Pr- Praetorian guards. Hey, yeah. d- well, don't forget when uh, uh, it was a fuck yeah. What's moment her name? For me. Uh, oh, the, the fucking the admiral sat there and crashed the ship. Through let's. The thing. Let, I mean, that was that was that was cool. But she should she should have fucking had that idea mm-hmm. before then. And also, she should have never been in that fucking position. Should have been because hard. a few words would have saved her life and a fucking hundred other people's lives. <laughs> yeah, we just, have. A- we got and a plan. We have a plan. All this that's, bullshit. That's all you have to we fucking say. We have a plan. We know what we're doing. Chill out. The it's Howard fine. Don't anything. worry about it. Say anything. Fucking anything. We're not in a position where okay, this is on a need to know basis, motherfucker. It's we're need re- to we're know. on the run. We're on. We're. <laughs> it's literally everyone needs to know. You. Everybody we're gonna needs live, to right? Know. Are we gonna survive? Are we gonna? Are we? Are we right. not gonna get raped by these guys? I feel like I'm yelling. I need to chill. I hate this movie. It's it's come up every time it comes up. It's just. It's just Fuck hatred. Everything. It's just hatred and, and it made vile. me hate it even more because their version was so good. And they're not supposed to be the better version of the movie. And, it's not. and her character, they even they even sold her as a villain character up until the very end. Yeah. When Princess Leia shoots down like like stuns Poe. Yeah. After yeah. that, then she's a good guy again. She's straight up heel character. She has heel face. The whole fucking movie. Yeah. And, and I'm then, supposed to, like, come then, on. Like, like, for the longest tried, time, for the longest time, I 100% expected her to be a double agent. They she was playing, they were it, selling it's her. Against, exactly. It's the, they were selling her. against a mansplaining and They were selling it's her like, as how? a double agent. She was how the fucking mole. Thing? The whole time, they were yeah. selling her as the mole. <laughs> no I, payoff. I thought for sure she's fucking imperial. No payoff. She's going to, oh my God, it's Darth Sidious all over again. So anyway... Uh, okay. Uh, no, yeah, I do want to move on. I want to touch on something that I find <laughs> absolutely creepy. Was the Amazon Alexas this week were randomly laughing <laughs> at things, just just out of nowhere. You're sitting there. Maybe you're watching. You know, maybe, maybe you're watching Saul, and someone starts getting cut in half, and you just hear your Alexa start laughing in the background. I would so nope good. that Alexa right out my front door, dude. <laughs> That oh. thing's getting punted off my balcony <laughs> at that point. If there's a hammer being brought down on it immediately. That's no, just so yeah, fucking creepy. That's so fucked and up. I can right? imagine it just wasn't like a ha ha ha. It was like a faint laugh. <laughs> oh, sure that'd be a, even I worse. I wish there were a YouTube sound recording of it. There, there, were, different, there were different results for different people because it was activating at different times for different things. Yeah. Um, I, I have to. Apparently, it was. Uh, in rare circumstances, Amazon Alexa can mistakenly hear the phrase "Alexa laugh." So basically, it was it was a matter of 
their Alexas, the ones that were triggering, were were sitting there mistake mistaking other words and phrases for Alexa laugh or Alexa can you laugh, which okay that's totally a thing. If you've ever had a smart home, it happens. Like I, I've got my Google Home out there, I got Google Home Mini in the bedroom. Every now and then, when I'm watching videos, it'll mistake one of what something like a string of words as a as a command to wake up. So it'll it'll do this little ding, but it won't do anything because it realizes it's an idiot and doesn't actually have to do anything. So but like to sit there and be like I guess if you're watching a movie it's, like Saw or, yeah. or just any any movie and you hear a laugh out They're of the like, corner hey like guys. That's, okay what's going it's on? that. It's not Skynet booting Greatest, over right? <laughs> Greatest prank would be at like Halloween time. Yeah. Randomly the Alexa or the Google Home starts going ch 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 Oh my god. Start I would doing fall like in any type of so creepy much. sound from movies. I would feel oh, so amazing. happy about the money Google, I spent on it if they Google, did that. Google oh, Amazon. Make that a thing. Yes. I, I would – if I'm sitting there, if, if, like, like, you know, if I'm on my off night. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if I'm sitting there, I'm on my off night. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm in my front room playing a video game, playing bed or yeah. something. Just I pause the game, go to drink some water. Cakes, make it, make it, pay. Make it, make it, make it. And then randomly, ch, ch, ch. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? And make sure that you can hear it. But that there's no visual indication that it's happening on the Google Oh, home. yeah, no light or anything? Yeah, no light. Just just, just do it. Well, I've officially <laughs> so lost my fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's official, guys. Uh, what the fuck? It's a long time coming. Nope, nope, nope. Just running out the house. Just, nope, I'm done. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where I'm barricading myself in my bedroom with my bacon pancakes and going, fuck that. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do at that point? Oh, that'd be so great. Because running that is, is not going to help. Halloween prank. Running is not going to help. No. <laughs> Here's fucking minute. like Chucky's laugh from Child's Play. Oh, God. I, oh, my gosh. Uh, Memento, speaking of that random, Memento Mori, this oddity shop I go to in Loveland, they got they got a, uh, a what's the uh, original doll? Uh, uh, good boy. Uh, uh, buddy doll. Buddy doll, whatever it is. They got yeah. that doll in finally. Oh, jeez. My brain is fried. I ain't. That is that is like the oh, like the yeah. innocent buddy doll. Yeah, uh, my, oh uh, man, a buddy of mine in Michigan has uh, from from the Bride of Chucky movie. Mm. He's got two dolls, Chucky and the Bride. Yeah, they're fucking creepy. I I, I don't like the dolls that he has, <laughs> but they're awesome. Looking. Yeah, no, it, it, it's one of those Mori things. Oddities, Ohio. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's kind of cool, but I'm not buying oh, that yeah. and putting he's it in my got, house. He's got a bunch of that kind of dolls like in the closet right next to his bed. And I'm like, that's awesome. No fucking way I can sleep why in there. It, that's horrifying. No, no, it's too close. To, no, no, don't. Oh, yeah. Why is it next? No. Yeah, I love that movie. Jay that's likes that creepy shit. from my childhood. Shout out to Jay Mac. But uh, he's got this. He's even got something that's worse. It's this like demonic baby from like a Halloween store. So mm-hmm. it looks like this evil zombified dead baby. He's just fucking sitting there in his room. I'm, I'm pretty like, sure spirit. No. Yeah, spirit. Fucking was telling horrifying. Us. Like, oh, okay. It's it's like the uh, the fucking abortion from The Witcher Three yes. that you have to Ugh. you have to lay to rest. Like that is. <laughs> It, that is the creepiest, adorable thing ever. I, fucking, I don't know if it's adorable. It's adorable in any way. If, if you sit there and you placate it, and the ghost, you lead the ghost. It, it's kind it of adorable kind of, in a weird it, the way. way. It's it a ghost. Burbles and shit. Yeah, when it's a necro, it's, like a, a, a Slimer type ghost, it can. But when it's when he's holding the oh god, no, one, that is a and it's no. Like, and Geralt's like, it could tear your throat out at any moment. I'm yeah, like, yeah. The dude's like, what? <laughs> the bloody Baron. Yeah. yeah. Um the guy that plays Robert Baratheon would make a great bloody baron. Oh my yeah. god. Yes, I can't he would. I, I he's can't, uh, I can't Loki, think... one of the better characters in that game. Yeah, like he he could totally Oh no, he's he, honestly I mean as much as I've played the game and I've played the game twice through That storyline was two, one of my favorites. 240 something hours. He is the most human character in that game. Yeah. He is yeah. the most expressive character. I don't know who they got to do his motion capture, but holy shit, that guy deserves money. Just just throw money at his face because he was. Oh, I felt for that character more than I did any other character in that game. That whole storyline between him, his wife, and daughter was yeah, just, it's, it was dark. It I, was heartbreaking. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was good. It Fucking, was really good. Like Witcher Three Quest. Yeah, 
Side a Witcher quest. A yeah, Witcher yeah, three a side, side quest. quest has a better story than any Twilight. It's a movie. side quest, but you gotta go. through You have, them. yeah, yeah. Part it, it, it's part of the. Main no, quest. it's a main quest. It's not a side quest. It's a total main quest because you have yeah, to go through right. it in you're order right. to get Siri because you're searching Siri. Re- and that's one of the three big I quests. I already bought that game for the third time, and I got about 10, 12 hours into it. I'm like, I, I can't. It's just so daunting. <laughs> it's, it's so it's, daunting. It's, it's it's not. Okay, I, I say it's not that bad. I put a hundred hours into it before I got to Novigrad, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, you were like, I, it's one of those games. I, I if I care. lost my file, I probably wouldn't pick it up again. Like Breath yeah. of the Wild is the same way. Like I it's love a, those games. I'm it's gonna just, I'm gonna re get it again because it's fucking enhanced for the One X. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, um, so, if yeah, you have an on. opportunity to play that in 4K. Yeah, fucking do it. Beautiful. Fucking do it. Exactly. I mean, That's why I have that to. was one of the games that when I first got this new video card, and I've had the thing for a year and a half now, but when I first got it, I'm like, I got to see this. I got I got to see this. And so I hooked it up to my TV, got the scaling right, got everything set right, and it was just like. <clears throat> I've played two games in 4K so far, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I was like, holy shit. That game and I had good played too. that game. I had played through it and beat it. On a regular Xbox One, when I upgraded, I just put it on just to see what it would look like. Oh my God! Yeah, it's it's then pretty I nice. Then I popped in. Then I got Assassin's Creed Origins, and I have never seen anything like that before. It is so sharp. It, it's like seeing a video game again for the first time. <laughs> right. I. I... I, mean, my, I still hate that I paid. I, I bought Skyrim on Switch. I, st- I still hate myself for that. And I'm never gonna let that go. I I can't ever let that go. Uh. Cause I need to remind myself to not do that fucky shit again. So when in a year, definitely never buy Skyrim again. When they when they release <laughs> Skyrim on like. LG super toasters. I need to make sure I don't buy it. <laughs> Bethesda's getting off lucky. Like all these studio. I mean, and they release you know Elder Scrolls Online, but. I wouldn't be surprised if they're making more money off of Skyrim than they are ESO. Oh, like, all these other yeah, game yeah. companies are like, we need to make games as a service. Hashtag games as a I service. I love that nowadays. they're they're saying that when Destiny Two is basically Skyrim. dead. Uh, the Division was only a success for like three or four months. Like, and now the Division Two just got announced. Like, don't you already <laughs> see that these don't really work very well? Yeah, I mean... Like, people get tired of them, plus you do shitty things in them, and you drop your player base like a fucking lead ball. Remember Destiny when they were like, this is going to be around for 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Destiny 2, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. Your like, high budget and shit doesn't get you as far as you you, you think it will. Even, it's, even it's, Battlefield it's 1 has been able to retain more of a player base to its final DLC that just came out than Destiny 1 or 2 did for the same amount of time. I was and I, I was on board for Destiny it's One. Just, oh, I was I was, off yeah, board. you got you guys were you guys were all in on that shit. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah I'll I never forget me and Luke just gaming memory from De- uh, Destiny One, just standing in front of a black cave, <laughs> shooting, shooting shit into, a, shooting black into cave. a cave, shooting and that shit was a more cave. fun <laughs> it was. than at any point we played the story. <laughs> I got more enjoyment out of doing that because that, it's like, oh uh, fuck, I'm actually gonna get something. I might get something, <laughs> uh, and then you fucking encode the engram and still get a green. You get like a blue engram, but it's like, or it's not for your fucking character, right? It's, it's either it shit you is. already have or things you can't use. I'm a titan. It's for a fucking whatever. Ranger or some shit. Or whatever yeah. fuck yeah. it's called. So I forgot. I stupid. wiped it out of my mind. Right. Any game that just does that and there's nothing you can do about it. You, get your, you can't get your value. It's just, why the fuck? That's why, why that? I mean, I want to be excited about um, Anthem. But be, oh, because yeah, it's, ca- not... it's a Casey Hudson game, it is a Bioware game, but... There's a lot of funny biz. If you look into the development cycle of that game, there's a lot of funny business going on with uh, EA. Uh, mm-hmm. They're behind the scenes bullshit, pushing them to make it game a, a service game and shit like yeah. that. And regardless of how good it's going to be, it's still going to be like you know shameless. Well, they've had to go back areas. because of the Battlefront Two bullshit. Both with, uh, um, they're not, but they did. They you think they're going to go back, but they're not. No, no. I mean, no, they're going they're back not. to okay. We have to do only cosmetic. They took it. We they, have to be more careful. They about took this. that shit away, and it'll blow over a tad, and then they are gonna. They, yeah. If they haven't already implemented the microtransactions, I like, like, right, right now, the fuck they're pretty back fucking in. scared with the U.S. government taking a closer eye on it. Yeah, well, yeah. We, what when they we got, when we got them looking at loot boxes now, you got the yeah. Well, what I gambling saw yeah. that yeah. was being proposed yeah. is that. It's it, they're proposing a bill where it has to be 
you know, specified on the box. This does include microtransactions. Yeah, yeah but every, every video, video game, game ever is well, going to have that um, on the box. That's actually right? something that the uh, ESRB is suggesting <coughs> they're going to start doing now. Where if a game has, has microtransactions, it's going to it's going to be on there, like how Google and Apple have done with app purchases on the App Store. Um, but what there is is there is a possible legislation where any game that has loot box potential can be labeled for gambling and in order to gamble you got to be 21. Yeah. In order to legally gamble they'll be able 21. To, that's not so a it's fight like, I feel we're, we're going to be able to win call that like call, call that gambling. I actually in all honesty that is like one of the few things I think they could win. Just I because I think it's best just leave it just leave it alone and it's going to die out just like Oh no! No, no that's, that's the standard. thing. It, it won't. Yeah, because that like that, that is the new thing now. Yeah. That is that is how things are going, and it's like I hate it so fucking much. That's yeah, that's why I still right. won't. I still won't buy Overwatch. Yeah, for yeah. the same reason. Just because on that that one principle, if you have if you have gambling of any kind, loot boxes or whatnot in your game, no matter how good the game is, I will not buy it. That's that's how you're I mean, losing a sale. Really I'll hurts. pirate your game. But if I have no intention of buying it, you're not going to get anything from me anyway. Yeah. It, it just it hurts my soul. You need only look at Rockstar. Yeah. The yeah. moment they discovered that, the, oh yeah, yeah, they you, released a game every year up until Grand Theft Auto Online, and they haven't done shit. They ain't released a damn thing since they released just Grand just Theft Auto content, Online. just content updates for GTA on GTA yeah. Online. Granted, I, their way of doing it is I'm much more okay with. Than most other game developers way of doing. Well, they they have got the sh- they got the shark they cards don't for have, you, but yeah, they don't have random boxes. But no, still, no, you have the ability they to constantly buy constantly come stuff. up they're, with free con free updates that add new shit. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna yeah, release got, Red yeah. Dead Redemption, but I highly doubt Red Dead will even uh, like. I feel like Red Dead is the only Rockstar game yeah. we're gonna get for a long time. Because why would they? They release a new. They've talked about it, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but they they're going to have to. They're going to have to name any of those games between that were all that great. I can, like, it, the it Midnight sh- Club games weren't. Great it shouldn't races. be that hard to uh, just I mean, transfer over your GTA Online data into a GTA Six Online. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I would argue Rockstar that Rockstar has a bunch of good properties that they they could like like State of Emergency was a shit PS2 game. They could take that property and make do something it a with legitimate it. property whenever they feel like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, two, one in just Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto Two were top down shit PlayStation. Yeah, games. yeah, they were they were not. Good. I, they I took would say that, that um, made Grand Theft Auto Three, Midnight Club Three, the last one was was good. Had a lot of different good content. Yeah, I don't it was wanna, one of those things where can't it was, undersell that people liked Midnight. Club. I mean, uh, I, it was if good. they were to make a new I, Max Payne, I'd be down for that. Right, but like really, Rockstar, if they want to focus on making is Red Dead as good as it possibly can be, fine. Or even why doesn't take two take one of those properties you guys were mentioning and have to get another sub developer to do it? I mean, it won't who be do as, they have? Might not be as good. I'm who sure, who do they have? I'm sure they ha- they could make a new studio with yeah. other people or something like that. Because Take Two is a big uh, <coughs> pr- uh, publisher. Publisher. They're yeah. not as no, multiple not EA big, countries, but big. multiple continents, yeah. branches. <laughs> right. I, I don't I don't know man I I'd like to see maybe another Midnight Club play. basically yeah. with Need for Speed the new Need for Speed being d- the disappointment that it is I, mean, I, I would I that, would yeah. totally love like the, for them to, to work on a good Midnight like uh, just, even if it's just like an in, uh, HD remaster of three dub edition yeah the you know? mi- oh, the other Midnight Clubs they're from that era like the driver era where you yeah, it was yeah. open world and you were in your car but you couldn't really get out yeah there was no there was no player character so to speak yeah and, and then were... driver finally broke down and let you get out of your car and do the bare bones running around so and it was it was club that that's like you know I don't need Grand the Theft Auto even Grand Theft Auto of... Light but yeah they I mean make another Midnight Club it seems like the there's no more Need for, for Speed Underground games. well yeah. The market for racing games has gotten smaller and smaller. I, I like, think, well... You I, get the realistic games, those will always be... Yeah, I know. You always have your, your Gran Turismo and, and your, your Forza. Yeah, yeah. And then but, you only, like, the only one that still seems to exist, other than like the way off-kilter like stuff on Nintendo, Yeah, or, you know, or the really smaller games, yeah. is... Um, Need for Speed. Need for Speed. And it's been ruined by EA's bullshit. Yeah, I think that's... I think that... I think this is one of those instances where we can say causation in, implies whatever whatever the fucking term is. It's like because 
EA has fucked up Need for Speed, a lot of demand for good for good racing games like that has just died off because who wants to play that? Yeah, you know who who really does want to play that? It's also Nobody. innovation in racing games is kind of. Like, yeah, I mean, there's not what much. What are you going to do? Admittedly, there's not a whole lot more you could do, which is why I think Dub Edition was so nice because you had so many different vehicles you could drive. Mm-hmm. The last Midnight Club, you had, you know, it wasn't just cars. You had trucks. You had, you know, big things, big rigs. You had fucking like motorcycles and stuff. Like there was there was other things to drive to, yeah. to race, and you could totally have like crossovers between different categories. You could. You could go do like a luxury car race with a fucking street bike if you really wanted to, and so I, I get you though. I, I'm on, but I, I think that's one of those things where it's like, okay, there's not a market for racing games because most racing games suck these days. Yep. So except for Forza Horizon, Forza Forza, Forza Horizon yeah, no. is um, well, Forza is Seven a great property. Forza Seven sucks. Racer, but well, I don't know why. I mean. Because of the Two microtransactions like Forza, and all Forza, that. Forza, just Forza. Forza, Forza is titles. fine, yeah. Like, it's like, okay, I mean, why would I buy that game where I'm just, I'm stuck on a racetrack mm-hmm. or an off-road track? Yeah. Why would I buy that game when I can buy Forza Horizon and I have an Australia map to do whatever the fuck I want and run around in the uh, vistas and the amazingness? Because you're in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That, that that I mean, I'm even my, Australians would tell you. Fuck I'm in this my place. car, though. Nothing. <laughs> not, uh, I mean, no, no animal should be able to kill me in my car. <laughs> I mean, you know, tell that for anyone who's crashed into like an elephant or something. <laughs> yeah. There's no elephants in Australia. I'm just saying, though. You know, <laughs> a goddamn kangaroo like jumps across the <laughs> right? road. Right. Actually, you. apparently that's common. Is yeah. It's crash wrecking the kangaroo. It's like it's like moose in Canada. <laughs> Death by moose. Oh, you you, you want to stay the fuck away from them, man? They're like yeah. they stand seven feet tall they're plus like, their antlers, like two stories. Yeah, <laughs> they are they are huge. I I, I would never have thought they were that is. big. <laughs> I watched. Oh, I've, huge. I've looked up YouTube videos. Like you'll see full size big ass trucks that are shorter than the moose walking like whatever down the road, like willy nilly. And how they can move through the snow. Yeah, they move through the snow that's like up to their shoulders. So like, like uh, or up to a human's shoulders. They move through that shit like they know it's not that, there. And they, and they know they're the biggest, baddest animal in the in the, I, the great I, white north. I still like that their only natural <laughs> predator are killer whales. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's, what? It's something strange where like when it comes to moose, like killer whales I apparently attack them too. Apparently, well, no, no, it, actual, no, 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 not not. Not like hunting. I mean, no. actual predator, as no. in like like uh, how you would imagine, uh, like like a like a, a shark to a gazelle, a, sh- a lion to a gazelle, or a shark to most any smaller fish, yeah. or uh, you know, fucking gator to anything in the gators area. Yeah, like <laughs> literally anything yeah. except for hippo. <laughs> right, except for hippos. Like like apparently. Orcas are their only <laughs> natural predator. <laughs> it's like, yeah, orcas. It's like that is insane to sit there and think about. Yeah. These things are you two just stories stay tall. Away from the fucking ocean, moose. Yeah. But apparently, when they migrate north and they get close enough, orcas fucking hunt moose. Moose. moose? What a badass moose. animal. Right? Yeah. It's I'm, like, a, I'm an or- I'm a killer whale. I'm just. I'm just gonna eat this. I'm moose. just gonna eat a moose. <laughs> Like, how can you say that? And then you got the. An- I just want to see that. Yeah, I would the love antlers. to. See- Someone's got to have a video of that. Somewhere. Imagine they just break. That'd be off. the craziest shit. Like killer whales already. Uh, like they're apparently not a really dangerous. They're nothing oh, like no, sharks. They're, 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 not they're, they're real nice. They're, they're chilling. Yeah, they're yeah, chill as fuck. They, like yeah, you they can have swim with them. unless the amount like, of attacks are like in the single digits or something like that over like a period of like thirty I've, years. Yeah. Imagine they're way less common than sharks. The att- oh yeah no seriously he's it's like it's single digits for like decades uh, yeah, of yeah, attacks yeah. by killer whales they yeah, just yeah. don't see humans as food they don't care well yeah most of them like, most of them don't care they're just mm-hmm. they're just they just want to fucking travel with their packs and their families yeah. and just get to where they need to go but they made some like killer whale shitty horror movies in the nineties <coughs> and everyone thinks free willy they're, they're not, <laughs> yeah free will is one of them it's like it's like that that reminds me of the fucking uh, the, the the Family Guy episode where he's like mm-hmm. yeah go Willie and then Willie just Lands on the fucking kid. <laughs> also, sidebar: Fuck Sea World. But anyway, right, yeah, yeah, they always, got the yes, t- title of Killer Whale, but their teeth are fucking huge. They are no, they're big. They're gentle. They're gentle giants. That'd like, be horrifying to see but, one eat a moose. I would love. To, I want awesome to see at the same yeah, time. Right? Like God, let we, me see that. We have to talk about another news item yeah. before we end the podcast. Inside developer Play Dead. 
they're 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 teaming with the real doll <laughs> making sex toy company. Oh my god! To, they're teaming up with them to make something a specialty item for their three hundred and seventy five dollars special edition that's coming out later on. And you know, rumor has it that it's just spo- it's supposed to be heavy. <laughs> heavy. It's sex doll. Sex doll company. Sex doll company. I they just... specialize in making fleshy substances. Uh, yeah. Supposed to be heavy. It's totally going to be a sex blob. It's just oh, a blob it's gotta be. with an orifice. That's <laughs> what I can imagine. It's, it's a blob be. with a flower and a butterfly. Yeah. And just a I want to see just it a, so a bad. Every time. Yeah. That, that's what but, it's going to be. But yeah, what what the fuck? I don't <laughs> know, man. That, like, I mean, hey, you know what? Wasn't it um, Ramstein? Who their like special edition one of their albums came with fucking twelve dildos or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That were modeled from Ramstein, their dicks. Ramstein doesn't give a shit. They filmed a music video where they it's just a porno. Yeah. It's just straight up porno. I mean, why not? You and know? like they're it is a porno. Like you you it is a porno. Like they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh but for, I mean for them coming from the country they come from too, like like how strict the censorship is there, it's it's nuts. Yeah, um, but I mean Germans are like but for years have been known to be fucking uh, like oh I know but it, creepy it, it, sexual that's true I just thought that was crazy <laughs> number one German dungeon porn number one the price point three hundred and seventy five dollars <laughs> still cheaper it's, than it, okay three hundred and seventy five dollars it's gonna include the game and assuming the sex blob <laughs> <laughs> so what is this sex blob gonna do. To merit it okay, being three hundred and seventy five dollars, okay. you, um, you, you might be treading into. I could, uh, I could into... buy a legitimate sex toy. You could buy like functions. A f- Fleshlights are only like for, fucking what a hundred bucks, ninety. Bucks? Yeah, around a hundred bucks. Fucking screw. I mean, <laughs> I had to buy one back in the day. <laughs> I mean, I had to find out. There's I got it in the mail. It. I saw it was in the mail. Pulled right down, just right in front of the mailbox. Found had to find out immediately. <laughs> Gotta know. I, there was like four uh, okay. or five years when I was looking at him like, I really want to buy one of these. JK. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, now you're joking. No, you, you totally did it. I'm, uh, no. You totally fucked a I flashlight mean, at your mailbox. I mean, I thought, I mean, I'm sure. In a perfect, like, in a perfect like world. It's like a bag full of puppy dog ears. <laughs> it's like having, what, what did he say? It's like, it's like. Banging something over a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to know what it looks Body like, pussies. what it's gonna do. Yeah, is it gonna vibrate? It's a theor- I, it'd be cool if it just rolls on its own, but like I watch it not be a sex toy guys, at all, just guys, made out of the latex stuff. What it, well, what obviously, it's, what it's it, not. they in the developer inside. It's not gonna have a functioning sex toy in their special edition. It's just gonna be a fleshy <laughs> thing that It'll functions in like roll. A roll kind of way or whatever. What if it? What if it's RGB lighting? <laughs> <laughs> you finish inside it. It flashes a spectrum. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> ding ding ding! Good job. You know, like go oh, you. That game's overrated. What if it just gives you, it gives you encouragement? So it's got like a female AI voice that that spurs you on. It's a blob. Going. It would have like. <laughs> 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 nope. It's just realistic sounds. Yeah. At the, yeah, those are pretty bad. No, I, don't know. I, 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 just, I imagine I just it'll like be something news. just really creepy to have. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that on your on your nightstand over there? <laughs> it's like it's it's, it's got not, little it's arms and legs it's hanging not, yeah. off of it. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. There's like just yeah, little yeah, gangly you, you mutant guado game. Spoiler: Guado from Total Recall arms oh, hanging yeah. out of it. That, that is horrifying. Yeah, the, the blob monster at the end of the game that your character turns into. That's probably Never what it's going to be. Just Keep your blah, penis blah, blah, blah. away from that thing. Exactly. When you mentioned it and you were talking about <laughs> Blobby, I was like, I don't know. This is not going to be something you want to stick your dick into. <laughs> I just imagine like a big pink blob. <laughs> yeah. It's I just totally fleshy. spaced and forgot the. You know, it's got wow. arms and legs and heads and shit. That's how it rolls it. around. That'd yep. be dead. Oh, oh, yeah. It uses the arms and can like move gates and shit. That would be That was creepy. That so, was the only part of the game that looked interesting. Sounds like a grows. flesh turtle. It, it yeah. grows, yeah. That that that's horrifying. It's like a flesh slinky. It goes back. <laughs> oh, God no! It is. <laughs> like how like that game is so what the hell? Like at the end, you just this fucked up mutant pink blob of flesh just 
Looking at the beautiful sunset. Yeah. You know, I, I, I hope this what doesn't a romantic start, image. This doesn't start a <laughs> yeah. trend where, like, Skyrim Special Edition release, they team up with Bad Dragon to come out with a fucking dragon <laughs> dildo or a dragon. I mean, I'm Okay, sure. you know what? You know what? No, I got to be honest That's with you. Totally. I'd, I'd buy that. It's... <laughs> It's totally no, head. Like, I would are you buy kidding? that just just fucking because. Don't don't kid yourself. <laughs> I would any, buy an Alduin dildo. <laughs> any chicks who are into that in the Skyrim. Oh, I'm are sure totally, that, it's totally Alduin's cock. It's head cannon for yeah, them. Yeah, no, come on, dude. I no, I I but would that, buy that. Would be the precedent. In fact, I would buy that I, and I, I proudly actually, display it on my wall. <laughs> I need to. Ask, I should ask. Like, I'm, I just uh, started uh, interacting with this chick, and she has a Skyrim tattoo. She's obsessed with Skyrim. I'm gonna ask her that. See if she has any dragon dildo. Yeah, do you have like a, a black one with red light, red <laughs> red red eyes, and how weird, big horns and shit? Like, because I'll doing is he is the dragon. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. So you sit there, you look at Skyrim, you got like black dragons are yeah. the strongest, and red, and then like bronze and whatever. F- what the fuck ever. So yeah, like he is the alpha dragon. So you know it's going to be him. Alpha size. The only other person it could be would be either Parthenax or... I uh, liked Parthenax. Um, yeah. Who is the other? The Wing Snow Hunter is, is 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 what his name translates to, but I can't find... Odaving. It could be Odaving. Big what Red Dragon. What a prog black metal band name. What? Wing Snow Hunter. Wing Snow Hunter, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something I'd listen to. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Like Scandinavian super, shit I don't yeah. understand, but I know it's awesome. Oh. Right. Like they, they're just like they're probably sitting there singing or like making toast in your underwear or something. But it doesn't matter because it's black metal as fuck. So yeah, you're just sitting there banging your head to to breakfast music, <laughs> like straight yeah, up. Like toast. they're sitting I there. Metal. I mean, it's not like I haven't done that already. Right. I um, love metal and I love breakfast. Two of my favorite things. Yeah. Right. And bacon, eggs, and and toast. Like a little bit of butter. <laughs> but it's a recipe for breakfast in Scandinavia. <laughs> like. <laughs> I have no doubt. Like, all right, what, want some pipes? There's a band that I listen shit. to, and I, oh, I can't. A tear. They sing in Faroese. Yeah. Uh, what is Faroese and uh, English? I would doubt it. Some of the songs they sing in Faroese, it's just nonsensical shit like that. Like, yeah. I, I'd have no doubt in my mind. Their Sabbath cover was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. It, it, I'm you still, can't, you still can't, my favorite. You cover. can't. You know, follow Dio and and hold a candle to Dio, but they did very. He he tried. They did really well. Um. Well, the, there was the tribute to Dio's. They did. They did two tribute to Dio's and, and uh, Egypt Central, I think, is the band. And their lead singer, she came fucking close. And there's huh. an there's another band uh, called Unleash the Archers, and their lead singer is a female, and she straight up remind like for me, I'm sitting there listening to her, like this is a female Dio. I just wish they had better songs. Because um, most of their songs are D just terrible. On that album, their cover was one of the better songs on that album too. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he he nailed it. I, re- I mean, I, re- I respect Cage and, and Jables. Oh yeah, man, they're... Jack Black's is like a when they, legit. Jack Black has great vocal range and he and vocal ability. It's when they when they want to make a good song and be yeah. semi serious. Hey hey hey, tribute the is the greatest the ability song in is the world. There. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure, it's there. It's just they don't always. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know what I can appreciate. I yeah. can I can very deeply appreciate. Like no, it's I just... mean it, it's it's not in a bad way either. Oh Did no, I, not I at all. Swear there they was don't news recently of Jack Black. Way. He's going to be in something. Oh, he, uh, everything. He's in. He's in so many movies. He was in Jumanji. Yeah, which, I mean, which apparently was good. I need yeah, to no, I could see. I, I could see that being Tenacious D movie. I do one. Like that movie is so interesting because it's it's a great movie, but if you listen to the soundtrack, it that's the movie. I just listened to the soundtrack. <laughs> well, that was the whole yeah. Point. Yeah, yeah, that that's the movie. Like I've been looking for that on Blu-ray forever. I uh, yeah, that, I'm, con- I'm convinced it really, doesn't exist. <laughs> I you know I wouldn't doubt it if it, if it get, like skipped a release. Either that or it's at the bottom of like a two dollar bargain bin in like bumfuck nowhere. It's been a while since I've looked it up online, but it may, it may exist, but. I mean, I don't know. I, Walmart always has weird I shit like, like that. I like to hunt. I like to yeah. hunt shit down in person. Right. I mean, get I mean, on Amazon or like, eBay and find whatever the hell I want. But. And then you can, like, go to where the person is and beat them for it. Yeah. Give me. Yeah. Just start punching them. Yeah. I used to love when I, I was uh, in high school 
to go to Walmart and go to like the five dollar moot DVD bin with friends, and we would just fucking unearth that thing. Yeah, like yeah. now I get pissed at seeing people do. It. I know. I walk by and see people like not in a disorganized. They'll like stack them all. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And I'm just so bothered by. <laughs> like, why are you doing a thing that been, makes perfect sense? Yeah. I've been there way too long. Yeah. I yeah. Hate we used to go through yeah. it indiscriminately. Seriously. Five or six DVDs I walk out with every time. Hey, I, I'm, I'm kind of at the same point now. Fucking eight years. I and did it's that like, this morning, man. I bought Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, for $5. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you did. I, the, the fact that that even was in there. Davis babe of all time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm down. Elvira is babe. I'm down She's with like Elvira. 68 years old. I, 100% I, still I would still take her out. Still do it. <laughs> take her out day. to a nice seafood dinner. <laughs> and I, but would, I, would, I, would I would call, call her, her right back, back yeah, the I'd next day. Call her like before you even got home. Like, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> because, of course. You know, we didn't even get this. We didn't even talk about Nintendo Direct. No, not oh. at all. The, uh, okay. Oh my Nintendo God. Direct. 3DS got a game. It's not fuck, quite dead yet. I got a couple games. Uh, That's cool. Splatoon DLC. Kirby's coming out. There's a demo. No, I don't. I I don't care about Kirby. Like this is really? one of those Kirby games where I think it looks I, I played good. the demo. Oh, it, it's. Not. I mean, I don't it, care it about Kirby, but I respect Kirby. Well, as he somebody, he's not. That franchise is not held in the same regard. It's like Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Kirby. Yeah. I I. And I feel like I, Kirby is. I really like Kirby. Like, I like Super Kirby Star. Games. Like uh, Superstar on on Super Nintendo is one of my favorite Kirby games of all time. One of my favorite platformers. It's like right yeah. up there with any other good quality game, like you just mentioned. But this game, mm-hmm. I don't like. Oh, well. I played the demo and I I will I. I, I gave it. I gave it a chance. I played through both campaigns. I gave you, and I'm not impressed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, having said that, the I didn't play, what's it called, Epic no. Yarn? Yeah. Oh, well, those games don't count. I didn't play No, that. no, those games don't count. They're terrible. There's a but, gimmick. Nintendo did that a lot. Mm-hmm. Gimmick games. Yeah. yeah. Because but no, Nintendo Mario Sunshine, Kirby Epic Yarn. Mario Except Sunshine, Sunshine was good. Was, I know. Yeah, yeah I'm no, just that saying. one was actually they, There's, like, this gimmicky tag. Yeah, that's that's totally their thing. But, no, I, I, I walked away from, from this, this, this particular one. Like, they need to fix some things on it before yeah. they release it. Like... I, I had frame drops. Oh, okay. Like apparently I'm the only one that had frame drops. I don't know, but I was sitting there and I was playing it and it does it doesn't feel as polished as I feel like it should because it's Nintendo. Yeah. But uh I had I had, I had frame drops and the game was just clunky. Yeah. It was like it was like not quite Resident Evil six clunky, but That's like That's the only Resident Evil game I'm just I just No, it. yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> The multiplayer was fun for a while. Anyway, we're going to move on because <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to get me ranting about how yeah. fucking much anyway, I hated that the, game. The, only important, the real important thing from that direct. Co-op. Fucking Sorry, Smash not Brothers. multiplayer. Yeah, co-op. Ugh, Smash Bros. Smash for Bros. Switch. For Switch. Uh, yeah, Fuck I, yeah, I fucking want it. And, I mean, Give it to me. Oh, fine. Nintendo, here. Here's my money. You know what? I won't even buy a bed. If I can give you a grand and you'll take... Give me. Uh, over, under... Uh, Fifty percent. You think it's coming out this year, or will it be delayed? Um. Okay. They said it's announced. They said it's coming this year. Yeah. They, they okay, announced okay. it for twenty eighteen. Okay. Okay. Here's what I see happening. One of three things. Um. Comes out in September. Just just because randomly because yeah. Nintendo. It comes out for holiday season. I'm thinking November is what they're shooting for. Right. I could see that around like a they right, need basically that. right around Christmas it would time be starting. Yeah. Foolish of them to not um, release a big killer app around that or, time. Or. They say fuck it, do what they did with Zelda, release it in March of next year. That's what I'm because thinking. fuck you. That's we uh, can do that and make it successful. Yeah, I think you're that's right. what's going to end up happening because it's not what it used to be. It's going to get. Del- I think it'll get delayed. Now, if it if it if if they just port the last Smash Bros to it and add a bunch of new shit, September absolutely. See, I thought that's that's a possibility. However, I don't think they would make <coughs> as big of a deal like having the characters yeah. hidden in that trailer. Yeah, and that's Breath of the Wild, like for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh no, it absolutely is. So 100%. I do think this is a brand new Smash. I, I I do too, and that's that's why that's why I honestly see it probably like I I'm, I'm mostly with you it being delayed. Yeah, and I like want I said, it to be in November. I could see. I it. think over fifty percent it gets delayed. Yeah. No, it, it, it's one hundred percent because it's that happens in the past with like, these games. I mean, like they like did it with Breath of the Wild. Yeah. It's coming out in March. Now, granted, I really will love it 
if we go back to, um, I think it was Smash Brothers Brawl that started it, where, and I can't remember the guy's name, the guy who made Sakurai? came up with Kirby. Sakurai? Was it no, Sakurai? He, uh, you're talking about Kirby. I think, it, well, he made Kirby, and then he does the Smash Brothers games. Yeah, that's, that's Sakurai. I'm okay. pretty sure that's Sakurai. Yeah. I know he is the biggest involvement with, yeah. with Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah. So he, the, that he, he is the on way it. they announced the he, new characters. It, he is he is working on it. Yeah. We're just not sure what role he's in. Oh, okay. Right now. Well, either like, way, it doesn't have to be him. But everyone on uh, on the no, internet. It, no, are, no, 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 no. It it does have to be him. Okay. Smash Bros. is his baby. Yes. He made it what it is. He made it. He, yeah, he is. He is Smash Bros. Well, kind of like 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 like, uh, like Singaru Miyamoto. He is Zelda. He is Mario. Mario. Um, of course, uh, oh, Sakadashi Itoi. I can't. Pronounce yeah, we. Him. I got it. But it's Earthbound. Yeah. So I mean, but what I'm saying is that that in that culture of when they were releasing new characters, and it was like every couple weeks you get new hints and stuff. It was so fun to be like following that internet. Yeah, that trail. was that, that was every a, time. It's like, come on, Sakura, what's the next one? That everyone's was, that was actually, everyone's hype wanting to see their new character. Like, I gotta see, where's my Captain Falcon, you motherfucker? Didn't get released until, like, the very end, right before the game came out. Yeah. Everyone's convinced he's not gonna be in it. That I, I want that to happen again, because that was so fun. That was a lot of fun. And when they finally announced Cloud, I was like, what? Oh, as, oh as, this as, goes as back DLC? to... Before, I'm talking Brawl. Oh, back I know. Before I we know. knew, like, back before, like... And then they announced Sonic, <laughs> and the fucking internet exploded. Sonic uh, and so Tails. Fun. It's like, what? No, not with, uh... Brawl. Oh, I don't know. They just Sonic. When they, when they announced Sonic, you see him fucking roll. Did in he? And shit. Didn't he also get like a shadow skin later on down the line, like a, a, an alternate costume no, where he was not black and red? I mean, he you might have been able to switch his thing. You know, you just hit X or Y. Well, and yeah, that's what I color. mean. Like, but I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like a shadow alternate character or anything oh, like okay. that. Because I mean, the that, DLC they... stuff didn't happen until um, Smash Brothers came out on the Wii U, right? And I I don't like I barely played that 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 was the one with the 3ds the cloud and yeah 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 Bayonetta ended up I I played the ever loving fuck out of it <laughs> yeah I like, played a little bit of it but uh, yeah no when Brawl came that was so it was just fun well they did that they did the that hype with, for the characters they did that with this one too yeah yeah it, even then it it was yeah, just the yeah. hype for who's gonna come back what characters they're bringing back so I can't wait for that so uh, well <clears throat> I think that's about all for us right yeah. We're, you know, we, we oh, yeah, the Shazam, a new Shazam set photo picture came out, and it's leaked. I say that in parentheses. Yeah, no, looks, yeah. you know, looks, uh, the suit looks pretty damn awesome. It's a lot better than the previous photos we've seen. Yeah, looks just like the comics. Yes, how dare they? <laughs> people, I love it. People, love I, you, you're damned if you do, and damned if you don't. I, like, yeah, I, I, I just sent a, a meme to uh joe and luke and it's a picture of uh aquaman and and like fanboy reaction the same fanboys that were bitching he looks nothing like he does in the comics are now bitching about shazam looking just exactly like he does in the comics i i it's, it's, Aquaman it's, looks fucking amazing i didn't want him to look like orange and green yeah no they, but they apparently, made a much better apparently the suits that we've seen for aquaman so far <laughs> like his or lack thereof uh, he's he's going to have a pretty comics accurate colored suit yeah. in the movie. Uh, I mean, you know what? You can do that in like make new, a fif- new 52. Yeah. Uh, anyways, like you're going to have that shade of, of orange coppery terribleness. You could, they yes. can figure out how to do it and make it look cool. Shazam's suit to me, he's he's golden age. Almost, and it's you it's, have to have Shazam be kind of like big, bold. That stereotype. He's kind of like a stereotypical superhero yeah, too. He's stereotypical Superman clone. Yeah, style, and I hated like I I didn't hate it, but I didn't like Superman in uh, either BVS or Justice League. Like I loved Superman, I hated the the suit. I think I, I, I mean, honestly they, think they need to go. At least back. they brightened it up yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, they at They're, least did that. They got but it was still like some some uh, costume t- designer. His idea they were they were like yeah, let's move forward with that. Like in Man of Steel, it wasn't that bad, but it, he's called the Man of Steel, so. Yeah. Slowly but surely, you started to notice in his suit there was like this this chrome muscly undertones. Like he's he's wearing a fucking chrome muscle suit yeah. underneath it. It just looks like shit. I, and I didn't like Zach. I don't really like Zack Snyder's design for all the superheroes. Anyways, like Batman looks like he can't even wipe his own ass. He's so <laughs> muscular. Like 
They're I, they're unnaturally like beefy. I don't think Ben Affleck did anywhere near, and I, I can't say. I mean, maybe it's not fair to say they used, he didn't do as much work for Justice League as he did for BVS. Everybody, he got ripped for BVS. They you know, never showed him outside the suit. I mean, genetics are your genetics are your genetics. I'm sure yeah. he busted his ass for a while, but they did use CG in his shirtless workout scenes in that movie. I don't care what anybody said. <laughs> I I have no doubt. All right, we, we really do have to cut it off there because I got to get to bed, guys. I mean, Same. You guys are gonna Alrighty. fucking kill me here. <laughs> like I'm normally laying down right about now, so. Uh, all right, guys, Jelly. check us out. Uh, rate us on iTunes. Yeah, give, That's give us the important thing. Give us some reviews on iTunes. Check that, out the webpage, page, the Patreon. Go, go give us a buck. We can yeah. keep doing things. Hey, yeah. You know, because that, that's always helpful. Even mm. if you can't These share. These guys got a video camera. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I'm hoping it's recording right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to do a dumb, we're, we're going to do a bunch of dumb shit. Don't worry. But for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. And See you. fuck EA. Yep. Fuck somebody else we don't like. (laughs) Everyone else we don't like.